Just real curious, why is the National Guard out here? Oh, we're just helping the security and traffic and stuff for the races. Are you under the city? Are you working for the city right now? Okay. Are you working for the city? Please, uh, are you under the control of the police, sir? I have no idea, actually. Okay. I, I just do what I'm told. I say Roger Sergeant. I know, but we called you that. You're a sergeant? Okay. That's cool. Thank you. Have huh? you ever done anything like this before? A fair or a National Guard? Nope. This is not for civil, I mean, you know, you're operating in a civilian environment. There is a possible committee law. The army or the National Guard shouldn't be here unless there is an emergency. You know? Anyway, thank you. I want to just to ask. Not a good thing. I'm not against you, but it's not a good thing what's happening in this country when the military is teaming up with the with local police. We're not liking this at all. Nothing with you. Thank you. Nothing with you. Thank you. We're not liking this at all. Are they gone? Huh? Are they gone? I hope not. I don't think so. I don't think you have violence. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we just showed you a video clip of National Guard in Arizona at these checkpoints. And earlier in the show, we were playing the audio. The video's up on InfoWars.com. We'll play some of that in the background of We Are Change Ohio in Kentucky. Just at a community event all over the downtown city, blocking bridges, uh, pointing machine guns at people off the tops of their Humvees. And the military were asked, they said, would you confiscate our guns if you were ordered to do so? And they said, well, we'll oh, sneeze there on air. That's a radio rarity. They will uh, follow the orders if they're told to. So all of this is going on. All of this is happening. And for more than 20 years that we've confirmed this has been covertly going on. Now NORTHCOM admits they want to put 378,000 regular Army troops on the streets of America, not just National Guard. They're putting local military liaison officers in. This is part of the global corporate takeover. This is incremental martial law. And we have the report, Maximum Alert, U.S. Troops Now Occupying America, PrisonPlanet.com article from Paul Watson that boils all this down. It's essential that you go to your city councils, your county commissioners, and you point out that the feds are federalizing those areas and you're aware of it. Schenectady, New York, mayor has asked for, quote, martial law. That's his quote. And for troops, the mayor of Birmingham has called for this. The feds are giving him grants. The feds are giving local police grants to take blood at checkpoints warrantlessly. Regular Marines are running checkpoints in California with the state police. In Tennessee, the military is running checkpoints with Homeland Security, regular army. This is really happening. And they're totally converting our society from a free society to a police state. With us until 8 after, when Dr. Stan Monteith joins us for the rest of this segment, the next two, is Luca and Bridget. We'll just use their first names. From Mojave County Minutemen and Mojave County Oath Keepers. They shot the video we just played off a little uh, pen camera. And we commend them for joining us. We've got their website, MojaveMinutemen.com, linked up at InfoWars.com. Thank you for coming on, both of you. Hi, Alex. Thank you. Hi, Alex. My honor. Uh, were you just driving along and saw this, or did you hear about this? Or, no, uh, we, were, we were just doing our little drive uh, to the post office, and we were just doing our daily route there, and we were driving through. They were having a hot rod car show that they have, been, have every year. And we're just driving down Andy Devine, and, you know, if it wasn't for our, our keen senses from the past few years from your show, I don't even know I would have ever paid attention. But here were National Guard guys, you know, on the, on the street in their uniform waving the flags, and we just said, my God, it's really even happening here. Yeah, they had traffic directing flags. Yes. So we just, we flipped the UE as it shows in our video. We had our trusty little pen, and I'm sorry it didn't come out so good, but we were just, it was just fast, and we just flipped No, I think around. it's pretty good video. No, no, it's, it's great. Good. Well, we, and we flipped around, and we just asked the question that you saw on the video, you know, what were they doing here? And they just say, oh, we're just helping, and then notice all the way over in Kentucky, it's traffic control checkpoints. But then they say, we do assist officers if they need help arresting somebody. Exactly. Exactly. We just heard that. And the interesting thing also, after we came back, we left because we were still in the car. We couldn't hold up traffic. So 
so we parked and we walked back about uh, 20 minutes later. And the part that isn't on the clip, we had spoken to uh, the regular traffic guy. And, and boy, he gave us, we were laughing, he gave us the regular line that you always give about, don't you love the troops, boys? I mean, he started going into that. He got very hostile. If you love the troops, you let them search your car. America is about checkpoints and troops on street corners. You're some kind of comic. You don't want to turn your gun in? Yes, he got very ugly with us. And I asked him about posse comitatus, and he just, he said, well, that, I said it was illegal what they were doing, according to posse comitatus. And he said, well, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. We run this nation now. Every country in history falls to their own military. And that's now happening. They've occupied all these other countless nations. We're now being occupied. And they've got them everywhere with guns. Uh, in many cases, just training us that we're absolute slaves and training them to accept all this. Stay with us. If you or your parents are 62 years of age or older and a homeowner, rmapply.com has a message that is vitally important for you and your family. Did you know that you may be eligible for up to $625,000 in HECM benefits? Visit rmapply.com and apply for free to see how much you are entitled to. Right now, people just like you are taking advantage of their benefits and using the money to pay off debt, purchase precious metals, stock up on storable foods, and support this show's sponsors, you may be entitled to hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's your money, and you're entitled to it. Apply for free at rmapply.com. That's the letter R, the letter M, apply.com. rmapply.com. Or call them today for a free no-obligation evaluation to see how much you qualify for. Call 713-551-1155. That's 713-551-1155 today. On September 11th, 2001, along with hundreds of my fellow troops, I went to Ground Zero, and we knew what to do, or at least we thought we did. Truth Rising is a breakthrough 9-11 film that finally gives first responders a platform to tell their story. Whitman, EPA director, on the 18th made a statement that the air was safe to breathe. This film follows the growing momentum of 9-11 Truth as brave souls throughout the world take action against their global masters. He had his hand over the radio while he was getting a countdown. He takes his hand off and you hear three, two, one, and it was boom, 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 boom. This is an emergency transmission worldwide. Download Truth Rising at prisonplanet.tv and aggressively spread it worldwide. Or order the DVD at infowars.com. If we don't expose the government-sponsored terror, they're going to commit more acts and bring in martial law. With food prices soaring to all-time highs, as the dollar continues to fall in value, what can you and your family do to guarantee that fresh, nutritious vegetables will make it to your dinner table? Garden in a Can. Garden in a Can is your source for premium, long-term, storable seeds. Garden in a Can is ready when you are. Plant them now or store them for when you really need them. There are 16 large, hermetically sealed, non-hybrid, open-pollinated packets of seeds, along with detailed planting instructions sealed in a can for ultimate long-term protection. Garden in a can. It's that simple. Fresh. Healthy. Easy. Only $69.95 for over a half acre of safe, fresh vegetables. Ready when you are. Stop procrastinating and start preparing with Garden in a Can. For more details, visit GardenInACan.com today. That's GardenInACan.com or call 866-598-7396-866-598-7396. Not this police department, no. Okay, uh, but other police departments? Uh, chain of Command, they do interact with them and they get uh, mission briefings. Um, yeah, uh, so like... We, we know so that there's a difference. You, you guys are traffic control, and then there's rover patrol or something like that. The guys with the big guns, like chilling with the Humvees down there. Same thing. By same the bridge. Job. It's the exact same job. All we are here to do is to uh, reinforce the Newport Police Department. Right. So, do you have any police powers as far as like arrests, no, jobs and whatnot? So we do not arrest, not unless asked to do so by New York or Newport Police. Department. Do you hear that military tactic? We don't arrest unless asked to by police. We're here to reinforce the police. 
We're talking to Luca and Bridget from Mojave County Minutemen. And their website, of course, uh, you can check that out. We've got it up on screen for you here in a moment. Luca and Bridget, you've got the floor. Uh, you're, I just discovered your listeners to the show. No surprise that our great listeners are out there taking action. We need everybody to get little digital hidden recorders or pens or whatever and start 